Hello, hello, my uh, fellow League audiences. It's your buddy Arch coming back for more. All right, so this is gonna be yet again another. We gotta get another. Um, Echo in the jungle. It's just so much fun, and I've been um, every chance I get when the team doesn't, when their team doesn't have. Uh, the opposing team doesn't have such a um, HP heavy like lineup. It's always a great idea to get old Echo out of the closet. Now their group, uh, the only one Tinky, I would assume would be the Wukong is gonna be hybrid and the Ryze is gonna be somewhat tanky or he's gonna be able to take some hits. But the rest of them, the fair game. <laughs> um, the times when you have high HP um, champions on the opposing team, I think is where Echo, um, he has some trouble. But I'm sure there you can adjust the build so you can get, um, so you can do damage, significant damage to um, high health, high health guys. I'll have to check that out. See if that's actually like a thing, you know? If that actually works. We'll throw out our double or double. Mitigate some of that damage. We'll take a pot. Alright, so let's see if. Uh... Alright, so. Wukong Flash killed me. And, uh. The Yasuo says my name. Zon is the future. So we're gonna see if that's gonna work out for the that uh, Wukong. doesn't belong to one city.
Alright, we're gonna head back. Having a short dialogue with Yasuo about how you get better in game, but he kind of refuses to accept. There are always consequences. Throw some defensive wards if uh, Wu Kong wants to. Uh... If Wu Kong decides to uh, float top, taking this path, we'll see where he's at. Now they have my uh Da, 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 the gin. All right, nice. I'll be able to get that. I hate being responsible. Head out into lane. So let's see. I have one kill. So I'm, and I'm up a little bit in CS versus the uh, so Things aren't going to improve themselves. Alright, so I uh I humored Yasuo from before, but But at this point I'm done talking. And in this case I don't even need to uh Get some uh, magic. 
Now they'll go get Dragon, I think. I'm gonna ward that right there. Never look back. Yeah, having them having Soraka is a little more troubling than I thought it would be. Not quit until it's right. So the Yasuo is actually going to get reported for his, uh, the lifeblood attitude. Alright, so we're going to take that item, that item, that item. Every rule needs a break. And we'll get this item. So before I was talking to Yasuo about how to, like, sort of like owning your mistakes kind of situation, you know? Like, the better you are, the more often it's like, hey, it's my fault, you know. In his case, he's actually getting more of it. And in addition to being upset, like, it's like, I just... Kill Wukong. Why would you be still upset? Every second matters. Yasuo could have thrown out a uh, wind wall. But not a wind wall, am I talking about? Could have thrown out his wind thing. the last of my worries. Just slowing the monkey down. They're probably doing dragon, that's alright. Oh, what? 
do we get that? When people, uh, oftentimes when people are upset, how you get your revenge on a jungler. How you get your revenge on a jungler is by stealing his camps. Oh look! The asshole got a kill because of my actions. Because I can grow up! Oh boy! But that's how you gotta handle people who get upset. It's unfortunate that things don't go your way and all that stuff, so... One person has to say their piece and be done with it. And look at the map now! Now he's probably... He's, he's, his attitude has probably changed one, like 100, 180. We've got this tower. Um, we've got bot tower. The game looks ridiculously good right now. And he had the nerve to like keep going on. About how I was no good. <laughs> We're gonna play some defensive wards. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Hold on, Fiora. Wukong. Getting out schooled. <laughs> so yeah, simple po like positioning can make so much of a difference. Let's see if their blue's up. Oh, thank you. Lane splitting. Not quit until it's right. Splitting those lanes. some of that magical action head on out. Shut down. Enemy 
Come on, Soraka, somebody! Oh, here we go. Adios! Unstoppable. All right, so I'm going to go do some dragon. Too much fun. Alright, gonna get Abyssal Scepter. Head on out. the real Wukong. What?
reds up in a little bit. We might wait for that. I owe them nothing. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. An ally has been slain. I'll wait for my red. Six, Secure old scuttles. Zon is the future. Gonna push uh, bottom while they push. Uh... Taking the easy route and starving them out of their, Monkey man, gonna try to get after me. Uh, before I go back, I'm gonna get to. Uh... Every rule needs. Get some of that, and then I'm gonna push top a little bit. Push top a little more because they're they're down there. Now I'm gonna back because I don't see anyone on the map and I don't want to get plowed by their entire team. All right, so what is next? Guardian Angel is gonna be next. I think I can get it right off the bat. Yeah, buddy. Another item you can get is uh, Zanya's Hourglass. I, it takes a little more finesse to work with that item, I feel.
That's it, boys. <laughs> so never get uh, ups never get too upset with your laning opponents. Now let's look at the KDA. Let's look. Let's look how much this echo sucked. Five one and five. Five kills. One death. And five uh, support. Now, does that beat the Yasuo's KDA of six, six, four? Hmm. But uh, anyway, he got uh, he got good farm, and things finally turned to where he stopped complaining. And uh, one of the things that he said that oh my lane, my lane's lost. All right, all right. So let's see. Uh, runic echoes for item is uh, item analyzation. Woo all right, so runic echoes, great item for echo. Come on now. Um, and uh, the rest of it, I like to go utility. And abyssal scepter is great utility because it gives a, uh, ability power and it gives magic resist. Plus, it gives magic resist to uh, nearby enemies who do magic damage. And unfortunately, it was only. Uh, rise, but rise is a good enough reason uh, to do that. And for some reason, he is massively underfarmed. Like, what? 92? Was did the Fiora really kick that much butt? My goodness! I guess full offensive Rage Blade uh, Fiora. So yeah, so really like Fiora kind of carried the game, and I didn't do too shab. <laughs> All right, yeah, so a standard Yasuo yeah, build with uh, your Infinity Edge, Static Shiv. Um, looks like some Bloodthirster was going to be created. I um, I wonder if the Yasuo, uh, what is the item? The uh, Trinity Force Yasuo, I wonder if that's going out of like style at the moment. Like, I'm not sure. But I'm seeing more and more of the Infinity Edge, Static Shiv. And before, I remember seeing Static Shiv into Trinity Force items. Well, in one case, you get more, you know, more chance to live, more mobility. In the other case, you do a lot more damage. So maybe they did the math and they were like, the damage outweighs the survivability. All right, so Fiora, um, you get your standard Hydra. And then in, um, in the case of uh, Black Cleaver... Um, only Wukong was really, like, had any, uh, defense. Oh, wait, no, Jax has some defense. Okay, so that's, Black Cleaver would be to, uh, gnaw through, um, the, ar the armor of the enemy. And I would say this is enough armor, um, to, to get Black Cleaver. So that's a fine item. But as far as in lane, you know, Ryze doesn't have any armor items. Maybe he's got some... Um, runes to, for some survivability with armor. Um, so in that case, it would be useful. So still a solid Black Cleaver pick. You got Berserker Greaves. Um, so pretty much so offensive going up, and then uh, then Rage Blade. When you got when they got caught by Fiora, she would just do so much damage. So when she got going, that really that was really like. You know, one of the, the the tipping points of the game when uh, she got enough items where she would become relevant, and then then the rest of us just need to clean up around her. Um, and then she started getting tanky. Most likely, that is a guardian angel. Um, Callista looks like she uh, bladed the rune king, which is a great item because all these guys, Soraka, Jax, Wukong. Three other guys have a lot of health, and um, this does damage uh, based on health, uh, health percentage damage. And uh, Rune and Hurricanes, pretty standard for the Callistas. You can help multiple people at one time. But depending on how many times they got into a big team fight, um, it could be more useful to go something like Static Shiv or that one. Uh, what is it called? I forget what it's called. Oh, yeah, here it is. Rapid fire cannon, um, but maybe not. Maybe uh, Runon's hurricane was working the best for her, and it was hitting multiple targets. So, because Soraka would have been with him a lot, so still a good item. But it could be negotiable that you would have gone a uh, rapid fire cannon, static shiv type build. 
but maybe not. Maybe I don't know enough about Callista. Morgana looks like it's uh, looks like it's support slash damage Morgana. The best thing about getting Rabidon's cap and more Rabidon's cap on Morgana, it, it ups her um, ability to new heights. So meaning her shield, all that is going to do lots of damage. And until they started getting MR, where it doesn't look like they have any MR, except for maybe the runes. So. As far as MR goes, they had none. So Rabdon's Death Gap is a pretty good answer to their lack of MR items. Boots of Swiftness, now this is a nice cheap item. It's going to help you catch up and bind people and whatnot. Rylai's Crystal Scepter. This is, uh, this is good on Morgue, good for survivability, and your auto attacks will slow down the enemy um, so that they can't get away. Um, and then you've got your Frost Queen's Claim, which is an excellent um, initiation. So all these uh, items I think are great, and they're the kind of items that, you know, you can be a little more lenient when it comes to defensive items. When you're talking about offensive, like this Rabans, I would be able to say, you know, is it is it going to do what it needs to do? If they don't have any MR on their items, I'd say that's a pretty powerful item, and the amount of utility she already has, and this helps her shield out, her black shield, um, I'd say this is a pretty good uh, pick, um, despite its uh, defensive, like, so mostly defensive, one-fourth item, or one-fourth was offensive and defensive, so nice build. Although she doesn't have too much in the way of armor, and you could say going armor would be a better, uh, than a better choice than Rabidon's, unless she wasn't taking that much damage. But given that she had seven deaths, it could have been prudent to get some armor. Um, the Jin or Jin, you got uh, Rapid Fire Cannon, you got Boots of Lucidity for a cooldown, you got Infinity Edge. Um, I kind of forget, I knew for a little bit of time, I think his kit is based on Critical Chance or Critical Strike, I, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, Quick Cyber Sass to get out of uh, Morgana's Bind, and the, the, this is a bit, um, I don't know if he's going to complete this as a Bloodthirster or he's going to uh, get a Mercurial Scimitar. But this item and this item was just built for, this is for survivability and this is to quit, get out of Morgana's Bind. Which is just fine and it looks like he uh, did okay in lane, seeing as he only died four times he got six kills and lots of supports. But it wasn't enough to uh, garner the slaughter of the Fiora. The Wukong um, in mid lane made quite a lot of headway. I know Yasuo was upset about uh, his progression, but um, there were some uh, several times when Yasuo made mistakes with me um, and mis and uh, mistakes uh, positioning mistakes. He should have been with his party instead of being a goofball or something like that. Um, review the video. Uh, I'll review the video. I'll uh, I'll I'll totally check out how many mistakes that he did. I know he made a few. Um, and this build, you basically, with Wukong, health and armor, and when you have your main item, your Ravenous Hydra, that's pretty much it. Like, go Ravenous Hydra or Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver is gonna pump up your alt, because every time you do a little spin east in and you hit people, the Black Cleaver is gonna give them, um, it's gonna give them one stack of armor our armor penetration one like every time it'll reduce their armor even further and um, this for the burst Wukong is all about getting into that that sneaky I'm gonna hide my clone get my Q and then gonna head back and Ravenous Hydra helps with that trade and then from there on you just get tanky and Raiduin's Omen is a great item versus Yasuo because he does uh, so much critical attack and then the rest uh, health I would think so that's a great build coming from Wukong. Unfortunately, it didn't work out with his... Well, it worked out for him, but his team didn't work out for him. Okay. The Jax, he was going for the Devour Rageblade. Now, the trouble with going Rageblade Jax and a lot of Rageblade uh, Devour... I should say, the problem with going a Devour Champion means that you have to wait till um, the end of the game to, like, you know, mid to late to get going. And that's when, you know, you're farming, farming, farming constantly. 
he was he several times was at bot lane and he was trying to get a kill unsuccessfully maybe successfully sometimes but i know at least one or two times he was unsuccessful with a gank and the problem with that that's going to um that's going to delay your devour even further meaning you've got to like you got to you got to hope that your laners know what they're doing and they're they're not getting crushed now in Fiora's case he was she was crushing the lane so that's one of the problems with picking devour you you chance a lot and in this meta because turrets fall even faster because of lower hp and lower defenses like you get to the inner turrets and they fall so much faster he didn't even you know it's uh 30 minutes into the game and he's not even sated um but he's got his uh rage blade and he's got his arena and omens so the later the game goes the more powerful Jax is but as it stands now uh the meta is short-term games games are ending much sooner on average the Soraka, um, I think two times I caught her with the same sort of trick where I got her under turret, right? And she's saying, oh, I'm going to live. And then I just ultimate and destroy her. I think I did that twice. Um, yeah, I did. I did it in top lane and then in mid. And with uh, Jax was there too, and I was just able to flash out or get away. And that was fun. That's always fun to turret dive like that and use Echo's ultimate to get out and lose turret aggro. All right, so Soraka's items, you got Frost Queen's Claim, you got uh, Ardent Sensor, which is gonna be for your mana and your ability power. Um, and then she's going for some Giant's Bolt's item for some survivability. This gives you movement speed in your and so so she got this item for movement speed and um, and her um, ability to heal greatly. I think this item was great. I remember trying to defend bot tower and the and she healed a ton. Now depending on if she had this item before, who knows? But she healed a ton. Oh my goodness! But when you're Soraka, you can't heal yourself, so you got to watch it. You need to be with your party to be useful. So mobility, getting where she needs to be, um, it's uh, good. And then Frost Queen Claim, I see no problem with this build. Um, other than that, her if she's going to plan to be by herself and defend a tower, get some MR versus the Echo or something like that. But this is a good build for what you want to do is stay with your party. But a couple of times she was not with her party for some reason. Um, the Rise looks like you got your standard Archangel Staff. I don't think that's completed yet. And you got Boots of Switness to catch up people, to bind people, and the Rabbit on Death Cap. Um, I wonder if, uh, I guess this is an okay item to go second. It's a little more on the offensive side. Um, but he's not doing too bad in lane, but Fiora was, uh, I think Fiora was, was dominating his lane. So in his case, it might have been better to go something a little more uh, defensive, but Rabadon's Death Cap, hmm. it is going to pump up Ryze's shield, his ability to survive offensively, but I wonder if that's enough, but in Fiora's case, she has no MR, so Rabadon's Death Cap is a good idea um, that we don't have much in terms of MR except for me. And I've got Abyssal Scepter. And that would help in a group. So you could definitely argue that Rabadon's Death Cap in lane would have been useful. And going off, going so offensively because he's got no he's got no defensive and being behind. You can also say that is not good. Um, I kind of want to lean to he being defensively. But depending on how well he plays Rise, he could have said that... I can get so much damage off, and the rabbit in the death cap is going to uh, make money for itself or something. Like, all right, all right, ugh, ugh, Arch Arcadia. This has been item analyzation. Um, if you guys have anything that you want to include, send me a comment. Because um, obviously, I'm not going to catch everything. And if my build, what do you guys think of my build? Because I prefer a utility uh, echo, um, an echo that is going to not throw down a tank because i need to think about how echo attack goes 
how Ateco handles a heavy, a tank heavy team, but rather have an Echo that can get in there, take a little damage, get a uh, carry, maybe get two, head on out. But a different build for, you know, a tankier team. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. I will see you next time. See you later.